I'm not sleeping. A primeira fase do sono dura em média 5 minutos e corresponde àquele momento em que a pessoa ainda não está realmente a dormir. Nestes minutos iniciais do repouso, a pessoa consegue negar que está a dormir. E nós vamos convidar-vos a estarem bem acordados ao longo do dia de hoje, a sonharem, mas a estarem bem acordados. Antes do primeiro painel de hoje, queria convidar-vos a fazer o seguinte, fazer uma coisa que todos fazemos muitas vezes no nosso dia-a-dia, -dia, tirarem fotografias e partilharem nas redes sociais. Nunca esquecendo de pôr o hashtag Fórum Alfa. Está ali para o caso de haver dúvidas. E outra coisa que eu queria convidar-vos a fazer era tomarem notas das questões que vos surgirem ao longo uh, das apresentações dos nossos convidados para no final, no final do painel, deste painel em que vamos ouvir, algum, uh, vamos ouvir convidados, colocarem questões. Não as guardem, não as levem para casa, coloquem as questões aos nossos convidados. E o primeiro convidado que nós vamos ouvir é Mildred Laia Azuarre. Ela é Senior Marketing Manager para a Espanha e Portugal da Salesforce e vai falar-nos de inovação e empreendimento, fatores críticos de sucesso. Mildred. Hello, morning, bom dia. Ok, meu português não é bom, ok? Because your English and your Spanish is excellent. So I'll switch in English, it's okay for you? That's okay? Thank you. I promise next time I speak in Portuguese, okay? My promise. Okay, this morning we are here to talk about the key factors of success in entrepreneurship. It's not easy, it's a challenge. I have only 20 minutes. I, I hope that you enjoy, okay, this, this road to understand what can we do, you know, to try to make this road happily. And the Fabrica dos Sonhos is here to make it true. And the reason why I'm here is just to show how the company at Salesforce, that is the most innovative company in the world, is working on that and helping entrepreneurs to really come through this dream. Okay? Go ahead. Right. Okay. Maybe. Okay, good. Our time together, we're going to check the three key points, okay? The first point is key factors to innovate, of course. Are you working in any innovation process? Anyone? Please raise hands. I can see anybody's working in Innovation Center. Okay, Chema. Okay. Well, thank, oh, I forget something. First of all, thank you. Thank you for the European University to invite me, Joao, Chema, Susana, and to make it, um, it, have it uh, true that I'm here, okay? It's, it's a key point for me. Okay, the key factors to innovate. It's a delighted eye, you know, because always innovation impressed to everybody. Always what happened in innovation is because something new. As Joao say, we need new ideas, new industries, new ways to do, new ways to work, new ways to live, and we are living a new age in the technology, okay? So the key factors. If you are working in any innovation process, you know this process, right? You know that the first point to innovate is to watch what we're looking, what's happening around us. Observation is a key point to understand how can we innovate really, to offer new ideas. If you don't know what happened really in the daily life, you cannot suggest and create a new way to do it, okay? And what happened after that we watched the world? We have ideas, right? Okay, great, I have an idea. But you have many ideas and you have an amazing world and you can put many posits with thousands of ideas, but you need to choose. You need to choose and focus. What is your key idea to develop? And after that, you need support. You need support of your boss, you need support of your investor, business angel, capital people. You need support to create a prototype, something real, something that people can test, something that people can really understand the advantage and the value. And after that, when you create a project, you need a scale. You need that really can, the people that can test, can buy, can use, can enjoy what you're doing, okay? But in this easy process, but it's a long process too. Nobody say that innovation is a, you know, it's faster. You know, when you see the great projects as Facebook or any other Twitter or Uber, it's not really, you know, new ideas. They are working for many years. And the innovation process is a long process. So what is key for you, for you if you are entrepreneur or if you are innovator people really, inside or outside the company? Always keep hungry. Do you remember what Steve Jobs say? Be full, be hungry. That's true, because you have the word to eat. I have been working in communication for 20 years. I, I never had the opportunities that now you have, because you have, you, you have the word to eat. 
for many ideas, for many communities, for many countries, for all the world is yours, so be, be, be hungry, okay? Smart and open. Innovation is not possible if you are not open. You need to share. You need to share with many, many people. Many people that can offer you new ideas and new ways that really fit your idea. So you need to share. In many times, you know, the research and development people was working in the dark labs, you know, and very secret project, and nobody knows exactly what happened there. And they call innovation that. In our age, innovation is open. Keep in your mind this word. The key factor of society in innovation now is to be open. Open and smart, because you need to share with everybody, but understand really if your idea is good or not, okay? And connected. How can you gonna do that, that, that really important people with power people, capital investors, new companies, big companies, see your idea? You need to be connected. And connected with the best people, with the best with the best people that can help you to really, you know, make your dream true. It's very, it's very important. The connection in the innovation is the second point. To be open and to be connected is key to really make a dream come true, okay? And be prepared, but don't scare. Be prepared because you can fail. Nobody say that you're gonna win. And the innovation process, the most of the, of the result, usually lost. And you need to be prepared, to be strong, and to think laterally, you know, you think, how can become this fail in a win? How can you really change this process in a new one? So be prepared because you're gonna fail, and it's not bad. It's not bad to fail. It's not bad to have wrong experience. It's lesson learned. So if you are in entrepreneurship, take in account that you're never gonna win it the first time, at least that you have, you know, a genius, that probably you are. And the, the last point in the innovation, you know, Stephen Bosniak was in your amazing uh, business school in Madrid, Impact Business School, opening this business school, and he say, it's not only have an idea, you need to earn money with your idea, you need to be profitable. Even you have many social entrepreneurship projects, and it's very cool because we are changing the world. You need to be clear that you need to earn money, create employee, you know what I mean? So it's not only to have a great idea, as really what is the result that you're gonna have. Innovation with no result is not innovation. Okay, you are losing money, you are losing time, you're losing resources. So take in account to be open, to be connected, and to be profitable. It's a tricky factor that I, I, I really want that you keep in your mind if you just start the process, okay? But what happened when I have an idea and I have this process? Anybody is working in any methodology of this? Design thinking, systemic innovation inside lead? Raise hand. Nobody? Raise hand or you know, shout, what do you prefer? If anybody knows this methodology, Rick, did you, did you raise hand? No, oh, sorry, okay. Well, I have, I include a link if you have this presentation and I think that Susanna is gonna share with you. You can link in any one of this, you know, and you can see what exactly is the methodology because innovation is not magic, it's not magic. Need a process and there are many companies that specialize in innovation processes that are helping to other companies to make it true because innovate is not easy. Innovate is just put people in a room and have an ideas and write in a wall and have a good prototype. No, you need a spurt. You need really people that understand what is happening. And companies like this, as you see, is just having this, this kind of focus. And you can just try to understand what they're doing. You can just explore them. You can explore the project and say, what is doing this, this, these guys here? What it mean the design thinking or the systemic innovation? Do you know the Toyota case, the Lean Start startup? Toyota just think like in a startup, you know, to reload the process. It's not waiting for a prototype to make it real. They are producing and, you know, go to the market, producing and go to the market. And the failure is in real time. It's very dangerous, but it's very positive because your market is testing your product. And it's not easy because you need, of course, money to invest. And you need people that really want to work in this way. But it's not, it's not impossible. So try to, to know exactly what is the methodology that the innovation is working on, okay? I think mean, anybody want to share something, please? Come with me and we can share together. What is the experience working on innovation, okay? It's not a receipt, okay? It's not a receipt. It's just formulas to make easier the process. And what happened here? Innovation, the real innovation, is creating revolution because it's changing something suddenly, okay? Who in this room just is millennials, I think, the most of you, okay? And I think the many of you don't know this one. You know the woman? Who knows the woman? 
please raise your hand. Good, okay. You know that changed my life. I was, I think, 18, and I have my big radio, and everybody listen to the same music, and please don't the volume, it's, 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 you are, you know, it's not good. And suddenly, something changed my life. My music is mine, okay? I, I, I select my music, I hear from my own. I don't want to just bore in anybody. So it changed our life, but what happened only 12 years later? What happened? The iPod, and suddenly you have, in a small box, anything that you want. You know, any amount of music, only for you, and you can share, you can take, you can buy, you can do anything with this. And what happened later? What is the breakout? The iPad is a, my, it's a tiny computer, and there you can hear music, you can see videos, you can share with your, your, with your people, you can know many things, you can upload, you can download, you can do anything that you want, because the internet created revolution. That was the first point in a revolution time. The internet was really what changed the world. And what happened today? What is disruptive? The iPhone is disruptive? That is not. It's not enough. Disruptive is anything that is linked with the iPhone and what we call Internet of Things. Do you know what it means, Internet of Things? Anybody, please? I cannot see. Good. Do you have any device connected to your and you? Okay, great. The Internet of Things is just connecting our life with any things, all the devices that we have. Do you, you use the Fitbit for your sport? Anybody with Fitbit over here? Fitbit? Ah, oh, you are not runners. <laughs> because the good runner uses the, the Fitbit. It's a device that you just really control, you know, what your body is doing with you. And you can connect with your phone, with your computer, with anything. And if Fitbit is changing your life, you will have the intelligent clothes, the smart shoes, the smart car, and the smart everything. So what's happened here? that the technology is transforming all the industry. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist, and my, my work has been always in corporate communication and marketing. My, my passion after my family and my kids is technology. And it's about technology because technology is really changing everything that we are doing. And what happened now is that our world is digital. We are living in a digital world. And you have amazing opportunities that you're going to see later. OK, I have nine minutes. So then, OK. So what is the, 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 the rise technologies that are trending and changes what happened today? And what creating opportunities to you? Even you are a lawyer, even you are a journalist, even you are a scientist, even you are an IT guy, OK? You have the, four, the five key trends that is changing, really, the panoramic in the entrepreneurship environment, OK? Cloud computing, you know what is cloud computing? Do you have your information in Dropbox? You use Instagram, you use Facebook, you use anything. That's cloud. You are uploading information in a cloud, and it's there. It's not in a server, no more. You don't need to have the big hardware any, any, anymore, no more. Any companies, no particular people, nobody. So what happened with cloud computing? It's changing the way that we are storing information, that we are really sharing information. And what happened with mobility? Everybody has a mobile here, right? Please raise hand who don't have a mobile. OK, now I understand nobody raised hand. Because everybody has a mobile. Because now we can buy, we can share, you can have any, you can decide what model and what brand, your brand you are buying. So mobility is changing the way that we live, the way that we study, the way that we buy, the way that we enjoy everything, the way that we communicate with our friends and family and the business too. The Internet of Things, I, I love Internet of Things, because I think that it's changing even in other sectors like the health, elderly, disability. It's not only just to buy or to have a concert, you know, or to share good things. It's just to help the world to make easier for people that don't have the opportunity to live in countries like ours. So the Internet of Things is an opportunity, really, to, to help and to support other cultures, too. So take a look at Internet of Things if you have it, explore new things about the entrepreneurship environment, and you're going to discover many things of the, in the, in, in inside. Data science, who knows what is data science? What happened? We need coffee. We need coffee. Right? No? Okay. Data science is, is a mix of mathematics, statistics, marketing, advertising. It's a, it's a magic mix. It's a magic mix because really allow you to have all the information that you need of your customer, of your environment, of your market, of your everybody. The data science is to mix the right information in real time to know exactly what you need, where you are using GPS, what you, want, what you, what you are eating if you have you know, the place that you are, what you're going to have the next, the next weekend. So 
the, the data science is the magic for many, you know, communication people. And the recovery data, of course, is a rising industry because everybody has information even in the cloud, and you can lost. So in the racing industries that you can explore is the recovery data. So taking account these trends when you talk about the technology as an opportunity for entrepreneurship. Okay, it's just simple examples because I have six minutes. So simple examples that the people, that the companies that change the world. You know Uber? Uber has changed the taxi industry and the taxi culture. You know, Tesla is, you know, shaking the automotive industry. They are saying, oh my God, what they are doing, okay? What happened with WhatsApp? An easy and simple apps, you know, people and simple apps that change everybody worldwide. Everybody just, you know, exchanging WhatsApp. So taking account this, and all with the success, the last word is sales. Sales, even you are a business, if you are a social project, you need really sales that people use, buy, and really enjoy what you're doing. Okay, second point, quickly. The ACES, Entrepreneurship, Innovation, Branding, and Communication. Okay, you can see here, entrepreneurship is about think. Think wild, think differently. As Stephen Bortnia say, I use the usual computer that HP and IBM create. And all my nights I was thinking, oh, how can I change that? And he did it. So think it wild and differently. What can you change in, in your daily life for anything, okay? Innovation, do it. Do it, but real, that people really can enjoy that, can really can do it. Branding, market, market, but be honest. And communication, spread it, but simply clear. It's not complicated campaigns. If you do video, better, okay? It's more viral, okay? So here's just simple, uh, simple examples, okay? In entrepreneurship and intrapreneurship. You can be entrepreneur in your company. I'm not entrepreneurship. I, know I don't have my own company. But I work for an innovative company, and I'm entrepreneurship because I'm offering continuously ideas, and I try to create projects inside my company. So you can be one. You know how many companies are really working in innovation, and you can be part? You know how many ideas can be coming true if you are inside the company or outside? But you need at least to have an experience at the company, is my suggestion. If you work in a company before, you're going to understand better your business later. It's, a, it's just you know, a personal suggestion. In innovation, of course, taking account the trends. In branding, of course, feedback. You need that the, your market said exactly what they think of your, of your product. You need to really understand what people think about your, what you are doing, okay? And in communication, always say real time. Use the mobility, taking contact with your market, taking contact with your customer is so, so easy. Okay, and the customer experience is the center of the opportunity. You can see all the industries that you are, you know, in front of you. You have, as I mentioned before, education, automotive, cooking, disability, elderly. You have a world of opportunities waiting for you. You need to explore and choose what is the industry that you really like and what is, what, where your idea really can be, you know, a, a real project, okay? But you have a huge opportunities now. More than ever, more than ever. And the communication, what happened here? In the simple process of communication, internet has changed radically, you know, the channel and the messages, because the channel is not just a newspaper or a radio. The channel is internet, and you are there always, you know, 20, 24 hours every day. And what happened here? The channel is a smart. You can use any device. The iPhone is not the phone. It's a computer. The any a smartphone is a computer. So you can have all the information there. You can share. You can take. You can call. You can any, do anything with your smartphone, so in, with your device. So taking account the channel and the messages, you need just work in your own interper, interper, inter, interpersonal commun communication. It's an intelligence to be creative. You need to talk about the neurolinguistic programming to talk about with people, to your, your, your emotional intelligence, because it's about emotions, the new market of digital transformation. And oratory, you need to be good explaining your project to your investors. You need to create your elevator pitch. You need to create your storytelling. What is your story? But everybody understands what you're doing. And the language, you know? You know the old CB here, this, the old bio, and the new bio? People is very creative. Just giving the storytelling. It's my story, it's what can I do, it's my, my, my advantage, it's what I can do really good. So it's the way that you present that, you know, and you, you, you always use creativity. Use the video, use the infographic, try to be different, 
not the boring CV, you know, that, okay, I education, I speak with some language, I have been working. No, try to be creative on that because it's very key in your future and your project and your professional career. Okay, it's an emoticon, you know, that is the, the really the new language that we are using every day to express what we are feeling. So be creative, be different, okay? Okay, the last point, I have only one minute. I'm very fast, but I need to be fast, okay. So the personal branding, you know what is Cibrido? Cibrido? No, Cibrido is a theory of the Brazilian uh, girl, Marta Oliveira, very smart girl. This video is in Portuguese. I link a video here, okay? Marta talked about to be one line. You need offline to be online because we need people to touch. I need to be here to hear with you. It's not the same that I'll be in the sky, right? It's not the same that we can talk in the coffee break because we need to be offline, but we need to be online. So be Cibrido is very key in your future, okay? So I have just prepared the, the 10 key points for the personal branding. I don't have any time because in 30, 10 seconds is very difficult. But I try to resume, okay? The first that you know is to know, to know yourself, me, okay? Your goals, your weakness, your strengths. You need to create your metrics and your, your, your own paper to understand what you're doing. Your nets, your connection, how others perceive you, your friends, your family, your professors, okay? The people that you admire is very key for you. I have only five seconds. Can I have three minutes more? Yes, thank you. Okay, the messages. What is your story? You, you know what is the elevator pitch? You need to explain in four minutes who you are and what's your project. Prepare your elevator pitch. Try to write your story. I was born, I just do that, it's okay, I have been done, I'm a dad. Try to create your story. Your communication. Are you in social network? Everybody here has a in LinkedIn profile. Nobody has a LinkedIn profile? Please raise hands with the LinkedIn profile. David is going to, David Correa is here to talk about the LinkedIn and the, the powerful that they have, the machine power that they have for entrepreneurship. Create your profile. You need to be on. You need to be on, guys. It's very important. Reputation. What you're doing, what your result, is not about your academic profile. It's about your ideas. It's about what you're doing differently and what you're doing well. What are you doing well and your failures? Because failures is not a bad word here anyway. And the continuous learning, you know? You have an amazing opportunity. Always knowledge, experience, references. In Madrid, you have opened an amazing business school just only for your generation. And talk about this point. It's really, it's, 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 it's impressive what you're doing here. And the innovation always creates focus, expertise. You need to be expertise in, any, in, in, in one point and excel in this point, okay? We're finishing. And okay, all about virality. You need to spread what you are doing, what is your result. You need to influence the, inf the impact that you have in your community is very important in your idea, in your projects. The power, what is the people that you are connected that can help you, support you to really make your dreams come true? You need power people here, okay? The image, you need, you need really create an image, a branding, a look and feel of you and your project. Because the first impression that you have on a person is what you see, not what you hear, not what you smell, not what you taste, it's what you see. Okay, so taking account of the image is very good, it's very important. And the contents, what about, you can look very good, you can be beautiful, but if you open your mouth and you don't have nothing to say, I think it's very, you know, it's not, it's not real. Okay, quickly, start now, start now, doing your check-in list. Write your friends, your contact, your professor, the people that you admire. Create your nets, create your profile, connect with them, talk with them, okay? And beyond the business, talk about what you're doing well. If you are a good runner, a good sport, if you play something good, just share it because it's part of your life, it's part of your processes. And the time, you need, to do, to, you need time, dedicate time to create your profile and your project. It's not magic, you know. You need work on that. You need hours on that. And discipline and control. You need control your image. If you Google your name, what happened? If you put your name in Google, what happened? What is appearing there? The LinkedIn profile first? Your picture in the beach? What happened when you Google your image? Take into account your personal branding. We are in the individual age. Now the individual age is just, you know, the key is the personal branding. And you need to create your brand. It's not about companies, it's about people. We are people inside a company, okay? Best practices, be global, okay? You are speaking English amazingly well. 
I'm responsible for Portugal. I never speak Portuguese because all my team speak English perfectly in, in Spanish. You are great. So be global more than ever, okay? Choose your social network. You don't need to be in everything, you know? It's crazy. Just to try to choose. I love LinkedIn. LinkedIn is, is you know, is the backbone of the professional career because it's your professional profile. But you can do decide and work on that. Excel on that. I'm finishing, okay? Involving your audience is not only about you. You need to hear to others. You need to follow to others. You need to join involved people in your conversation, okay? You are not the center. You are around this, okay? And focus, focus, focus. If you have an idea, try to don't have a million of this. Try to reduce and create a, a profile of that and frame of that, okay? The tools. You have Google. Google is more than a researcher. Google is an amazing company that is creating artificial intelligence, that is creating many other applications that you can enjoy and you can use. So take into account Google. Google just to create your project, to be what can do around this. How can you manage your business? LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter is my favorite. That's my favorite. And about me is just you complaining, you know, everything in one point. So try, try to test, test all the tools, and you can just really try to create your key factor for your success. Even what you have, even if you have to be in a great company, even you want to develop a project, okay, you need a profile, okay? And you want to be a bat or Batman? You need to choose. If you want to be Batman, you need to create this branding. Because bat is easy to be. The difficult is to be the Batman. So try to create, using your personal branding, what you want that the people perceive of you, of your business, of your idea, okay? I'm just finishing. I just include some references that I think is good for you that you know it. Uh, probably you know that. The Global Innovation Index, you know, the Portugal is in, in, the, in, the, poll, in, the, in, the, in the rank 30. You are in the 30. It's good, very good. So try to, uh, the, the, try to take it advantage. We are the, you are developing interesting uh, initiative for entrepreneurship in Portugal. Take it disadvantage more than ever. More than ever is a, is a very good word here. And you can see there the most innovative companies in the world. And you can just try to put your idea there and say, I like Tesla. I like Uber. I like Salesforce. I like anything. But try to put focus in innovation. It's very important. And I include other points that you can just advantage, that you can read easily at home, like in Portuguese, talking about how you create your personal branding. It's a pity that we don't have enough time. But please take in your mind that personal branding is a key factor for success in entrepreneurship and in your life, not only for in your company. Okay? Now you're going to enjoy after me. You're going to have to Roberta talking about the project that they uh, rock Rio. Is make it possible. You have the Joao talking about tourism. You have David Correa from LinkedIn. So you have the opportunity to know for the first word, the first word in the world, what happened in entrepreneurship. And you have projects, inspiration. Projects that really are, are, are being doing, you know, it's not only the idea. So taking advantage this day today, because you're going to have many inspiration for your future. And even for your, for, your, for your present, because you are developing your life now, okay? So a last phrase that I like from Socrates is like, be as your wish to seem. It's about your reputation, about your personal branding. Be yourself, always. You don't create the personal branding. You build the personal branding. It's different, OK? So, obrigado. I'm open just for your question or anything that you need.